Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. But um, let's get into it Pisces, shall we? And have a look and see what's coming up for the month of November. Okay, let's start off with that Two of Wands energy here, Pisces. Now, this can be fire sign energy coming through. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You do have an Aries and a Leo in the cards as well. Uh, there is a decision, a very important decision you're going to be making um, come the beginning of November. Now, it might be choosing between lovers or choosing between your future, but you do have the long-term card here in the form of the three of wands. So I love what this represents here, Pisces. I think you're planning for the future or you're making a decision that's going to impact your future. So a decision that you make now or something that you decide on is going to impact your long-term goals and your future in some aspect here. Now, for some of you, there's adventure calling or travel plans, okay? Might be overseas, could be to a different city, different state. There is a new beginning with the Magician card and it might involve you moving or relocating. So international opportunities will come up around you. You might be required to visit some places for work purposes, creative purposes even as well. And I feel like you should get comfortable with it, complacent with it, because for some reason it's in your long-term future. It's going to occur more than once or it's going to happen around you multiple times. Now, it could also be choosing between two different jobs, um, two different income streams even, two different destinations. There could be a foreign person, a lover, love interest, um, agent, friend who's coming in around you as well. You do have the Magician, so this is why I'm thinking it might be new creative ventures. The Magician is known for his talents. He's exceptionally talented. He's very, very confident in what he does, and he's all about um, initiating new beginnings. The Magician, the first of the deck, the first of the Zodiac, and being an Aries here, um, he gets things done, okay? And everything is out on the table here. So you're collecting resources, or someone is going to lay it all out on the table here for you, Pisces. Things will become crystal clear. Things you were anxious about, visions that you didn't have, fearfulness, anxiety. The confidence that you're going to exude, I think, is very, very attractive. And you're going to draw people to you, Pisces, professionally or romantically speaking here. You've got a wonderful infinity symbol in um uh, around you this month. So I do feel as though there's the notion of cycles coming in around you. But also, um, possibilities are um, limitless, okay? Sky's the limit here. So this is really powerful. But it could be a, um, an Aries person that's coming in around you for a new beginning. I think this person is going to be fairly honest and open with what they want. And perhaps even if they're not under the sign of an Aries, I do feel like with the offers on the table here, it could almost be like the magician revealing its secrets, okay? So this is quite interesting. Uh, let's also not ignore the fact that you've got the beautiful star card Pisces. Now this is fame, prestigiousness, recognition, something being star quality or you paving the way, pioneering something because the queen of one sits underneath it. She represents leadership, skill, ability, prominence, um, as does the magician. So you might be rising to fame because of your um, creative works. Someone might notice you. You might amass a large social media following, but you're going to have a very positive or big influence on someone. It's all about impressions this month for you. And the star card means you'll make a very lasting impression, maybe online, okay, through online um, dating apps, uh, registering your scripts online, uh, showing off your product or services, launching something. If you're wanting exposure or you're wanting to launch something, November might be the time that you see that happen. And it could be an Aquarius here that helps you in some way, shape or form here with the star card. It is the water bearer. It is having things in the limelight here with the star card. So I like what it represents. It's potentially cleansing a situation or healing a situation as well. Might be with an Aries, a Leo, an Aquarius. 
but the star card is remedying a situation um, or finding compatibility. The stars give us hope. The stars, you know, are puzzling and enigmatic, but they give us hope and inspiration and guidance. So I feel in one way you're being guided to something you're destined for. This is what you're destined for. This person, this job opportunity, this creative ability, destiny is speaking to you, Pisces. So very, very beautiful. Now you do have the three of wands as well. And this is, for me, this is a card of planning for the long-term future. You can see that he's looking out with his vision, uh, determined to uh, go on a quest, determined to fulfill or complete something. Um, so I feel you have a lot of options around you potentially in November, but there's something that you're going to choose and it's going to be around you for the long term. And this shows a lot of commitment. Now you can be quite dual Pisces. So this is obviously something that's going to awaken something within you, passion, you know, there's some sort of resonant energy here that's going to come in around you and carry you through. Now, for some, there could be multiple lust uh, infatuations or love connections. The ones can be passion, it can be lust, it can be sexuality as well. So you might be choosing between different people. There might be multiple people around you interested and suddenly you have the element of choice this month. That could also be the case as well. For some of you, there's a, a potential move, but it could be quite a, a quite a large move and it could be to the other side of the world. It could be moving for work purposes. Suddenly this offer that's being made to you, you didn't really see it coming. It's not something you ever considered yourself doing, but I think in one way, it's, it's, it's food for thought, which is quite interesting, but it can definitely be a relocation especially in this first column, adventure and travel might be calling you for different purposes because you're destined um, destined to do something or experience something or encounter someone or connect in some way. There's, there's something here for you to see the world. Okay, you've got the world in your hands. Expansion is coming in around you. Uh, but it could also be a fire sign. If there is a fire sign around you, you know, they, they might be um, have adventure calling. They might have something calling them. But you do have the Eight of Swords as well. So this can be anxiousness. This can be preempting something. Um, and I really feel like it, it's more internal more than anything else. Um, an internal, not seeing your vision here. Eight of Swords is quite a conflicting energy, but it's it's you pigeonholing, your something, uh, pigeonholing uh, yourself into something. Because the Eight of Swords, technically, she can move around, she can break free, but she chooses not to. She she can there, there's things she can do, but she chooses not to do them. So, is this something that's self-inflicted? Maybe. Is there possibly an air sign around you that's displaying this behavior? Could be the case as well. Could also be a case of something you're not seeing. Now, let's look at the column that it's in. Um, the blindfoldedness. The fact that she's blindfolded in conjunction with the magician can show that there is some ulterior motive. There is someone here who might be trying to manipulate or alter the way you see things for entertainment, um, for their ulterior motives. Maybe this is romantic. Maybe this is professional. You, you will know Pisces. You're very, very intuitive. So I think you'll catch on. But I think the fact that that's coming up in that column here, maybe towards the middle of the month, you might see some sort of manipulation or someone being um, not revealing, okay? Or you're being blinded. You're, you're choosing not to see something because the magician can manipulate. He alters the way we see things for his reasons. But nonetheless, things are not everything, you know, or um, not everything is all that it seems. Looks can be a little bit deceiving. So I want you to investigate further. Um, you know, and if, if you're a bit hesitant or if you're a bit, you know, wary of a situation here, I think it's a good thing to be this way. And I think it's a great defense mechanism, I suppose, um, because that might be needed. But it's also not seeing your vision. You need to take the blindfold off. You need to put everything out there on the table where you can see it, plan it, map it out, whatever it is that you want to get to, whatever outcome you want whatever goal you have, Pisces, maybe that's the sort of application process you need to apply to work towards that outcome. But look, you do have the Queen of Wands as well. It could be a Leo sign coming through here. Beautiful kind of um, motivation, spirituality, openness, fire. 
Um, it is a card of leadership, possible promotions coming in for some of you. Um, it could also be a, taking a lot of initiative, initiative with your destiny. So you might receive signs, synchronicities and symbols from the universe, but you're really going to take the bull by the horns here and you're really going to initiate um, to work towards your destiny here. It's also open mindedness. You might find that you're becoming more open to experiences. You might find that people are becoming more open to you. There's certainly romantic and sexual advances that might be passed to you this month. Um, and you'll see that people are very open, very responsive to your ideas. Look at their body language, the way they're communicating with you, verbal and nonverbal cues, Pisces. These are the times you need to act. So that's quite interesting that that has come up, but it might be a Leo person that's coming through. Could be a Leo friend. Um, spirituality, the esoteric arts, um, nature, this is also coming in. Um, you might be exploring these sorts of avenues more. But it's also dominating or pioneering something, paving the way. Um, it could even be paving way for destiny here, Pisces, so that's quite exciting. I will leave it at that.